Hello. Let's see. Let me just add to my page. Gonna share. Hello, everyone. Let me know if you're out there. Good evening. Say hi in the comments so I'll know that you're there. This is Dr. Terrilyn, and thank you for joining me this evening. It is, today is Monday, June 29th, and you're on with Dr. Terrilyn. And today we are going to talk about the five reasons that people change careers. So I'll give people a couple more minutes. And thank you for joining. So I won't hold you guys too much longer. I just want to say hello and I'll introduce myself uh, to, well, most of you are my friends, but um, if not all of you, but wanted to say, hey, Marshall Knight. Um, hey, Dr. Jamila, thank you for joining. Just. I am Dr. Terrilyn, your board certified family physician, um, speaker and coach. And I help physicians who are interested in non-traditional careers. I help them navigate uh, the transition from clinical to non-clinical to non careers. And I do that uh, through my coaching program and I help them um, do that so that they can live their lives based on their priorities, their passions, um, and their purpose. So I'm so happy to share with you today um, just um, what is near and dear to my heart, which is why, um, just a little bit about my journey. Um, so I, as I stated before, I'm a family physician and I, uh, what people also call a general practitioner. And I've certainly, held positions in the clinical realm, which you know is your traditional doctor. You go to a clinic or hospital and you see them, but I've also had the, um, I've had the opportunities, the great opportunities to work in non-clinical, um, non-traditional positions where I've had administrative positions. And you'll get to know more and more as I, um, do more of these lives about, uh, more specifically about my skill set. Um, and it, it's been a great journey to work both in non clinical positions and, and clinical positions because that way you get to see medicine as a whole, both on the micro scale and the macro scale. And I've been very fortunate to affect healthcare one patient at a time and on the population scale. And so I'm just very, very, um, I don't take that lightly and I'm very excited to share with others how they too can make that transition if they so desire. So with that in mind, um, I realize that there are a lot of physicians who maybe um, for one reason or another need would like to make a transition from uh, working in a traditional role where they are seeing patients, or they may want to do a hybrid where they're seeing patients and uh, do other things to supplement with their day-to-day um, -day patient care. So let's talk about some of the reasons that may lead you to want to do that. Hey, Tiffany, thank you so much for joining Dr. Tiffany uh, Parkman and hi, Kensington. Thank you for staying up with me. <laughs> So uh, one of the top reasons that a lot of people change careers and certainly that I also uh, made the switch to an administrative medical career was the desire to learn. And I just wanted to learn more about um, 
the business of medicine. And that's something that I learned right after, um, right after I got out of residency. I didn't learn it in medical school and I didn't learn it in residency, but certainly when I got out and I started seeing patients, that's when I learned medicine is a business. I was on the phone a lot with um, physicians um, and other people who were made ne not necessarily physicians who were deciding basically which medicines could be approved to give to my patients. And so it dawned on me that if I wanted to, um, that I actually wanted to uh, be, have more of a say, then I needed to learn what they were doing on the phone. So um, basically I decided that I wanted to um, know more about the policies and the procedures that went on behind the scenes that went into what, uh, what surgeries we were approving, what medications we were approving, who decides that. So, um, so number one, is the desire is the desire to learn more. So not just in medicine, but that could apply to any career. So the number two, and put that, someone put that in the chat. The number one reason should be your desire to learn more. So number two, um, the number two reason to change careers would be the desire for more responsibility. Certainly as you um, uh, our, uh, my, you know, we, as we start out our careers, we want, the hope is that we'll ascend, right? So, um, and I remember thinking that even as my, my first job as a cashier, I didn't want to just, just work as a cashier. I wanted to learn how to run the whole store. So it should be the same, it, whether you're a teacher, right? When you start as a teacher, you should you know, it, it's the hope that you should ascend to be counselor, principal, administrator, right? So, um, or any other administrative position that will give you more power. Um, so the number two reason is the desire to, um, for more responsibility. Or actually we can make this 2A, the desire for less responsibility. There are times when we actually need to take a step back. Maybe there are family issues, there are family obligations um, that will cause us, not, um, not necessarily bad. Maybe certainly when I had a baby, I wanted to take a step back um, and I have three of those jokers. So <laughs> there are definitely times when we need to take a step back spend more time. Maybe we had to take care of a, a, a parent. Um, and then I've also known physicians who have, who have had illnesses or who have had to stop operating. And so they have needed to um, change careers or change their jobs to better suit their skills. Um, or not skills, excuse me, to better suit their physical, um, maybe physical decline or ailments at that time. And so, or maybe you just need a break. So, and that happens. So what I call 2A is less responsibility and that happens and that's okay. Um, that could be temporary or it could be permanent. So number three is relocation. Maybe you just wanna change the scenery. So that's a good reason to, to change careers as well. Um, uh, I myself, I prefer warmer climates. <laughs> Went to school in Rhode Island. Um, you know, I'm a Southern girl at heart. Um, maybe some of you, you know, prefer sunny California. Maybe you prefer a place where you can get all four seasons. So certainly people base their career changes on, on weather. Some, you know, maybe you're getting married or, um, you know, you've met someone or maybe you just want to see the world. So that is um, or maybe just have a new boo that you want to be with. So my, my, my daughter told me, don't say that. But <laughs> she said I was too old to say that. But I said, we I'm not old enough to say boo. But anyway, um, those are all good reasons to relocate. So, um, yeah. So thanks so much. Oh, Daria, thanks so much for joining. And Tasha and Roslyn, thanks for the folks from my hometown. So, so glad you guys could make it. 
So just to recap in the middle, the so far the reasons for making a career change include, and no matter, this could apply to any job. Um, maybe you want, number one is you the desire to learn a new skill. Um, two is to um, adjust your responsibilities, maybe whether you want more responsibility or less responsibility. And number three is relocation. So we have two more, so hang in there with me and I appreciate you guys joining me. Hey, Jermaine. So um, also um, now here's, here's one that can be kind of scary and we've seen a lot of this during quarantine and that is the company reorg. So um, sometimes they call it company reorg or the company has just basically either eliminated your position or they've changed your position. Um, and so you're forced to either look for another position or take a position within the company or at that particular job, um, whether you like it or not, or they've changed your team, or they've changed your manager, uh, what have you, or they've just changed your job altogether. So that's the other reason. Sometimes that sometimes that works out for the best and sometimes it doesn't. But that's another reason that um, people change careers. But nevertheless, um, it's something that we should definitely keep in mind that could happen at any job. If we're not the boss, then it's, we need to expect that that could happen any, at any time. And then the last, the the last um, reason that I uh, or that I want to bring to your attention is the desire for work life balance. So I hesitate to use that because <laughs> we all desire that, and I I feel like a lot of us are in search of work life balance. Um, I don't know how many of us actually achieve that. Um, so. Um, hey, Nikki. Hey, Roslyn. My classmates are here from from Mississippi. So glad to see you guys. Hey, hey, Monica. So, yeah. So, you know, maybe you're just a, you 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 want more time for family. Um, you adjust your job so that you can drop off the kids and pick them up or um you know, that's another good reason. Or you just need a job that is that's less stressful, or you prefer nights, but or you prefer mornings, whatever the reason may be. Um, so just to recap, the reasons that people change careers are this one, number one, you, you want to learn a new skill. Number two, you want to change responsibilities, whether it's more or less. Number three, relocation you want to move to a new place number four your company changed your job and number five you desire work-life balance so whatever the reason is i encourage you to get a coach like myself um, to guide you through the transition because there will be change um, accept change be open to change because it can um, change can be good don't be fearful is another thing. Uh, don't fear change. And the other thing that I want to tell you is whatever the experience is, good or bad, make sure that you learn from it. Because that is the number one thing that I try to take from all of the experiences that I've had, no matter the job. I feel like I've always been able to learn something, whether it's something I know that I don't want in my next job uh, <laughs> or something that I definitely want to look for in my next you know, in, in a position um, coming up. So you, you learn to accept, um, you learn to figure out what are your must haves and what are your deal breakers. So I, I thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Um, hey, May May, thanks for joining. Um, hi, Tawanda, thanks for joining me. And hi, oh, my sweetie's on, my um, Allison, I hear, that's her saying, hey, mommy. Uh, so I just want to encourage you, no matter what comes your way, accept change gracefully and figure out, um, you know, whatever your journey is, uh, don't, uh, don't be fearful. And thank you guys for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here, I'll stay on for a minute. 
And then I'm going to, I just want to shout out Mississippi. I got my Mississippi mug. It's actually a Macon, Mississippi mug. You guys, I'm from Macon. And uh, the little town, 2,500 people. I'm very proud. A lot of my classmates and hometown people are on. So thank you guys. And um, historic day yesterday, the flag came down. So yay, we're always the last to do something. But for this this time, I, I really, really am happy about it. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Tian. Thank you guys for joining. Hey, Kenny. Kenny's my classmate from Tougaloo. So any questions, guys? Yes, this is my Mississippi mug. Any questions? Oh, Robin says represent. That's my classmate, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Oh, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, um, and Dr. Terrell. And thanks for sharing my page, Rosalyn. I appreciate it. Um, yes, Tian says change is good. Change is good, change, especially an attitude makes a attitude definitely helps. So if you go into it with a great attitude, that will definitely that's definitely half the battle. So thank you, Tian. Um, so you can find me at Dr. Uh, Dr. Terrellon, D-R-T is in Tom, E-R-R-A-L-O-N. So hit me up. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. And thanks, guys, for um, tuning in. So I'll try to be here every Monday at 9. And let me know if there are any other topics you want me to talk about. And I'm happy to oblige. Thank you, guys. Please share. Appreciate it. Bye.